Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Shot here, and I'm going to show you guys how to get Miss Creative running so smooth and just show you guys the best settings. I had a couple people in my stream ask me like what settings I was using and people just always come in so I thought if I go ahead and make a quick tutorial video go ahead and just send people the link they go ahead and do it themselves right away I don't have to go ahead and sit there in the stream for a couple minutes and go ahead and explain everything and people can just go ahead and do it themselves so the very first thing you want to go ahead and do is open up steam now when you get these settings the game's going to run a lot more smoothly and the FOV is going to be changed so many good settings are going to be coming out of this and you guys are really going to enjoy it the only thing though when you're changing the FOV it's going to zoom out the camera a little bit it may look weird at the very beginning but trust me it's going to be worth it in the long run and you will get used to it once steam's open you want to click on games and view your games library just get to your games library and find miscreated once you found miscreated right click on it and click properties you're then going to go to local files and then you're going to click on browse local files once you're there go ahead and you're going to see this one at the very very bottom it's the last file it's going to be system.cfg now i already have it here just ignore it pretend it's not there so system.cfg you're going to right click on it you're going to press copy you're going to right click on the white space press paste and now it's going to make a system copy.cfg what you're going to go ahead and do is, is you're going to double click on this or you can right click on it and press rename. You're going to rename that to user.cfg. Now once you've done that, you're going to have system.cfg and user.cfg. The next step you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to go in the description of the video and there's going to be a paste bin link there. I'll go ahead and make sure it's in brackets and make sure it's glowing. You guys will see it. Go ahead and click on the paste bin link and it's going to bring you to this page right here this is all my settings that i have for miscreated i've done this all myself i went ahead and edited this and i edited a whole bunch of things and i did a lot of research the only thing it does not have is my in-game actual miscreated settings like the particles the water motion blur all that stuff once we are done with the user options i will show you all my actual in-game settings like the particles and like the actual stuff you can change in game which everyone can go ahead and do and you don't need any knowledge go ahead and know how to do that so you want to go ahead and copy line one all the way to line 60 you're gonna press control and C or you can right click on it and press copy once you've copied it just go ahead and close it you want to open your user.cfg file so I'll go ahead and just open this and do it with you guys you want to delete everything in here and then press control and V which means paste or you can go ahead and just right click and press paste and then just go ahead and press control s or just go here and press save also, I should have said this before, but just let you guys know, if you can't edit this file because you don't have Notepad++, I will also leave that in the description below so you guys go ahead and download and install it. If you don't want to go ahead and download or install Notepad++, all you want to go ahead and do is right click, press open with, and then open it with Notepad. And you can do the exact same thing. Now, your user.cfg is totally done. So what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and boot up the game so I'm gonna boot up the game right now and just let you guys know we're gonna be now in full screen windowed and I love this feature it looks like it's in full screen but I can get my mouse my cursor and I can go right over to my second monitor so if you have two three four monitors however many you have you can just go over to your second monitor whatever other monitor you can go ahead and go on Google you can have TeamSpeak open on there you can type in discord you can do everything you don't have to go ahead and press alt tab you don't have to close down the game you don't have to minimize the game the game's in windowed it's going to be in windowed it runs perfectly fine everything's great and i love one of those features i love full screen windowed so you want to go to your settings and i'll show you what i have so go to settings now i have vsync turned off and i have anti analyzing mode anti aliasing or whatever it's called i have this it's usually set on 2tx but i have it set on 1tx i turn vsync off full screen mode it should already be unchecked and then I, my display resolution is 1920 by 1080 now I have medium, 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 low, high. Also you could do high, high, medium, low, high. It's up to you. I don't notice a difference at all. And I'm just trying to make it so my game's at a constant 90 frames. Mostly the one that's gonna take more CPU power and graphics power is gonna be your objective detail. The game effects is like fire, smoke grenades. There's basically anything that's an effect like sparks, like rain stuff like that like just the effects in the game if you want you could bump this up to high it's not going to do much 
damage at all but the one that does the most is the objective detail now the post processing turn that this has to be on low just go ahead and copy my settings but yet again if you want you can put objective detail and game effects on high so it'd be high high medium low high now we're going to click more in your shading and shadows make sure those are on low like the shadows around the bush stuff like that make sure these are on low motion blur you do not want motion blur motion blurs when like you're moving left to right or like up and down really fast like whenever you're moving your head it like blurs like the outside of your screen lens flares you also don't need those so turn those off next what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to change the game's vibrance so to go ahead and do that i'm going to exit the game you're going to want to right click and this only works with nvidia you want to right click you want to click on nvidia control panel and you want to go ahead and bring down the display portion. You then want to go ahead and click on adjust desktop color settings. If you want to scroll down, you're going to see digital vibrance. If you go ahead and change this up, you change it down. This is going to make the actual colors in the game pop. If you don't want to use this, because if I go ahead and turn this up, right, it's actually going to change the desktop as well. So if I go ahead and change this to 100, it's going to change the actual desktop, but it'll only do it for desktop the one that you pick so number one is different settings number two is different settings, and so on and so on so I'm gonna put this back down to 50 that's the first way you can make the colors pop the second is is you can download something called vibrance GUI it's totally free and it's very simple to use so I'll also leave that in the description below so once you have vibrance GUI it's gonna come in as a zip and what you want to go ahead and do is is you want to go ahead and just unzip it so this is what's gonna have in here right here it's gonna have three things Just go ahead and take it and then drag it and drop it to the desktop all right so here's my vibrance UI once you open it this is what's gonna have and I have this set to 80 and I always have this on auto start so whenever I boot up my computer it's automatically on I don't have to keep going on and changing this on to 80 and make sure that this is running so those are all my settings from miscreated hopefully it helped you guys out trust me this is going to help you and it's gonna make the game look so much better and run so much more smoothly hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead and drop a thumbs up